Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with hypothesis testing, uh, is going to concentrate on what's known as the chi squared goodness of fit test. Okay, so uh, this is a special type of uh, hypothesis test uh, that is going to allow us to determine uh, whether a set of observed frequencies uh, follow a particular distribution. Uh, in particular, uh, the example that I'm going to use is an example with respect to uh, the rolling of a die, okay, a dice. Uh, let's say we have, I'll just write down the scenario, so the scenario is something like this, okay, so the scenario is a six-sided, a six-sided die, a six-sided uh, die uh, is rolled, is rolled 1,000 times, let's say for argument's sake, okay, okay, uh, and the outcomes and the outcomes uh, from each roll, from each roll, okay, are recorded, are recorded uh, to be, to be, let's say, for argument's sake. Okay, so it's a six-sided die. Uh, so the values that we have are, let's say, so the outcomes, okay, the outcomes when we roll the die, okay, the values that we have is a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six there are possible outcomes that we could get when we roll a die, okay? Uh, and the observed outcomes that we've that we've achieved when we roll this die 1,000 times, okay, uh, are something like this, okay? So they're, let's say, so the outcomes, the frequencies, okay, when we've rolled the die, is the die 1,000 times, that a one occurred 170 times, uh, a two occurred 160 times, a three occurred, uh, let's say a hundred and let's say a hundred times. Okay, uh, a four occurred, let's say for argument's sake, a hundred and twenty times. Uh, let's say a five occurred, a hundred and fifty times, and a six occurred. Let's say, well, let's see what we have left because I'm just sort of pulling these out of the sky here. So let's just say we have uh, one hundred and seventy plus one hundred and sixty plus 100, plus 120, plus 150, gives a total of 700. So let's say out of 1,000 rolls then that the six occurred 300 times, okay? Hmm. Seems to be something unusual happening with this particular die. Is it fixed uh, or is it fair? Okay, uh, what we can actually see is that the six seems to be occurring uh, a considerable amount of times more than any other any other number with respect on this particular die. Okay, so the question we have is whether this die is a fair die or not. Okay, uh, but more importantly, uh, if it was a fair die, okay, we'd expect that the outcomes would follow some well-defined. Let's say these are my observations. Okay, so f subscript o. Uh, the outcomes would follow some well-defined distribution. Okay, uh, in this case, uh, the distribution that we would we would expect, okay, okay, to observe, okay, being a fair die, uh, we'd expect that uh, the one would occur. Well, if it's a fair die, everything should be as equally likely to happen as everything else. Okay, so for a fair die, we would have that the probability that the probability of uh, a a one, a one should be equal to one over six. The probability of getting a two should be equal to one over six. And all the way down, the probability of getting a six should also be equal to one, o one over six. So you should have a one in six chance of getting a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six. You should have a one in two chance of rolling any one of those particular face values. Now let's just keep in mind that we've rolled this die a thousand times. So out of the thousand rolls, we would expect that the one would occur uh, one sixth of the time. Yeah. So we should have a thousand uh, multiplied by well, multiplied by one divided by six. Okay, which is a thousand uh, divided by divided by six. So we'd expect it to occur 166 times, 167 times. Yes, yeah, in around there. So let's just say 166 times. Okay. We'd expect that the 2 would also occur the same amount of times, uh, let's say 167 times, the 3 would occur 166 times, 166 times, let's say 167 times, and 167 times. I'm just doing this because I'm going to be rounding up and rounding down here, yeah? so we can't actually represent it as 166.666 has to occur a certain number of times. That's what we'd expect to happen. Okay, if that makes sense. You can see the total number of rolls here that we've that we've observed is a thousand. 
and also the total number of rolls here is also a thousand okay so I have a thousand rolls we just assume that the one two three four five six would occur in around the same number of times okay if that makes sense so what a chi squared test or what a chi squared goodness of fit test is going to try to calculate okay, is whether the observed frequencies okay the things that we've observed uh, whether there's evidence to suggest that they've been taken from a well-defined distribution okay in other words do these observed does this observed distribution fit the expected distribution okay now to do this particular test is straightforward enough don't forget it's a five-step process okay Maybe I'll just start her over here. Uh, it's a five step. So here's my hypothesis test. So the hypothesis test. Uh